Welcome back to the channel here with Coach Mike Shady again. And today we're going to talk about the lost art of lofting a bowling ball. It is an art. And years ago, everybody did it. And today, it's you just don't see it played in the game today in competition like you used to. It's not the crazy loft where we see our terrific PBA stars get throw it over the capping. This is a tool that you can use as you compete in league tournaments. We're going to teach you how to do it. Can't wait to see it. Let's get out to the lanes and let's see how lofting can help you bowl better. I'm here today with player of the year and my teammate from backstage bowling, Shannon O'Keefe. And Shannon, as you watched her throw that first shot, how the ball hooked up high, many of you have that same problem, whether it's in league and tournaments, you get too much hook and you wish you had a tool to get that ball down the lane before it start hook, starts to hook. Today, we're gonna to talk about loft. We're gonna show you two different loft zones. The early one, about two feet, and then we're really gonna challenge you to get it out over five feet. And to do that, you've gotta decrease your knee bend. Shannon gets very, very low at the line. We're gonna decrease, less knee bend, bring her up. You wanna stand tall so the ball goes into the lane on a parallel plane. Many bowlers actually hit up on a ball and it goes into the lane this way and actually creates earlier hook. We don't wanna do that. So, Shannon's gonna show you a three-step drill. She's gonna work on her bottom half. She's gonna have less knee bend. She's gonna be taller, think tall, and she's gonna to try to get the ball over the first line. You noticed how Shannon was much higher up than her first full shot when she went high? That's what you have to work on, less flex. Now Shannon's gonna go back and make a full shot and she's really gonna think about staying tall, very little knee flex, and we're gonna challenge her at five feet. She's gonna try to get the ball over the line and actually strike. Remember, the first shot went high. If we extend that skid face, she should have a really good opportunity to get the ball into the strike pocket. What a great shot by Shannon. You notice how tall she was at the line. The ball went parallel over the second tape mark. That's over five feet. Remember, she went high. She extended that skid face. The ball got longer down the lane. She struck. What a great shot. Now go out and practice. Less knee bend, taller. Get the ball parallel. And you've developed another ball motion tool for your toolbox. Boy, you could really see with the ever-changing lane conditions that all bowlers face here today, how lofting can help you stay in a bowling ball longer and help you not have to move as much on the lanes. That's, that's one of the challenges today is the oil evaporates quickly. The balls are strong. Everybody's playing in the same area. And we all have kind of our, our premier zone of where the, where the play to lanes. And if we can stay in it longer and use the same ball, we can score at a much higher level. And that's what we looked at today. Shannon, you can see how her ball went high. We taught her um, trying to keep a little straighter up at the line, less knee bend. And she's one of those great players that really uses the bottom half. So she got a little bit higher, less knee flex. She did the first loft at two feet. And then you could see she really challenged herself with that long five foot loft. She got it parallel into the lane. We never want to hit up on it beautiful the way she did it and the ball went flush. Lofting is a great ball motion tool and as you mentioned it's one of those arts that we kind of lost over the last couple decades and if you go out and put this into your game with just a little less knee flex get it into the lane on a parallel plane boy it can really help you out. So challenge yourself get out there start lofting the bowling ball and you'll become a much better bowler. Hey everyone thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully you learned something you can apply to your game. Do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Also, if you'd like to get backstage access to our coaches, you can join our online community at backstagebowling.com. Use the coupon code SAVE20 to save $20 off an annual subscription. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.